No, okay, so let me tell you a story. I went to a yard sale last this weekend, last weekend with my brother. There was no yard sales this weekend. It was too cold. But the weekend before, I went with my brother. And I'm shopping around, and I see this guy has an old Levi's jacket. And I have heard from resellers that old Levi's stuff can be decent. Okay, but I'm not a clothes guy. I think you do more clothes than me, but still not that much of it. Not much, yeah. Well, this thing was like a brown suede, like, cowhide jacket. Yeah. Have you ever seen such a thing? S- sounds sounds like it could be valuable, but also ugly. But it's ugly, right? It's ugly. Yeah. It's dirty. It's stiff. You remember, like, that episode of Seinfeld where Jerry gets a suede jacket and then he has to go out in the rain in it? And it gets, well, listen, the viewers do, so I don't care what you think. There's a great <laughs> episode of Seinfeld where, you know, he's out with Elaine's father, Mr. Bennis, and he has to wear his suede jacket, this really wonderful jacket, which is incredibly ugly, out in the rain and it gets ruined because suede really can't handle wet, which means it's literally the worst possible thing to make a jacket out of. But somehow, for some reason, in the 70s and 80s, they did it, <laughs> and yeah. even the early 90s. Um, and so this is one of those jackets that's been in the rain, like you can tell it's like stiff to the touch yeah. in spots, it's got stains on it, all that stuff. And it just looks like a piece of crap to me. But because I hear people like you say... Always remember when you're at the thrift store to look out for suede. Do you like my voice? The little <laughs> that was the voice Gary voice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I was like, you know, I got to buy it. And so I go up to the guy. I'm like, how much you want for this jacket? And he's like, how about 10 bucks? And I was like, eh, <laughs> it's pretty crappy. <laughs> like, I'm like talking you're real, trash. <laughs> you're really confident about this garbage. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, eh, I don't like, cause I have no clue, no context as to what it can be worth in my brain. I'm like, okay, so in a good condition, this probably, probably worth like 40 bucks in crappy condition. Maybe I can get 20 for it. So I talk him down to five, <laughs> 50% discount. <laughs> I looked it up. Carrie, the most recent sold comp is $325. That's amazing. <laughs> See, that's why people do give us a lot of crap about the mm-hmm. negotiation because we're yep. coming in after the video and maybe you've been on Instagram telling people how much it's worth, but yeah. they don't realize we're not typically, a lot of us aren't looking at our phones at the, at the yard yeah. sale. We're just like, I, I got a Tony Hawk skateboard 1983, like two years ago for uh, t- it was $10. And I talked him down to five because my head was exactly the same way. I'm like, this is an old skateboard, 30, 40 bucks. I'm yep. like, five bucks. I got to hedge my bets just in case it's not worth <laughs> exactly. 30, 40 bucks. And then I found out it was worth 400. So that, yeah. that happens. You yep. kind of have to use your instinct, but your instinct is could be off by hundreds of dollars. <laughs> so, okay, the condition it's in, there's no way I'm getting three to $400 yeah. for it. Like, I don't know if you're going to repair suede. I doubt you can. Um, so I listed it for 200 or best offer. I've already had several best offers come in today since I listed it. Uh, highest one right now is 145, but I kind of want to give it 24 hours before I accept it. Um, but this yeah. again, definitely was feeling like when I was editing the video today, I was like, oh, I really probably should have given the 10 bucks. Like, <laughs> but I didn't yeah, but, know. <laughs> but that's the context that you can't really even explain unless you do like a, unless you just take over the whole screen on a green screen, like Paul, like Paul does. Just, yeah. But he's just, just really like, obsessed. He's like a narcissist. Like seven minute voice. Yeah. Out, just like, dude, get back. Let me guys, let me stop this three minute Bobbins yard sale video. Let me stop this three minute yard sale video to talk to you for 14 minutes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you were looking for As... a natural point to leave this video. Go ahead. Now. <laughs> also, I'm going to go ahead and point the camera up. So I look even more gigantic than I am, which is already plenty gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> 